God. Welcome to Hello Gunta Andre. A highlight of our transit between Melbourne and Wolfgangsen, an admittedly relentless 30 hours, was that we flew directly over Prague City. And if you look at this blurry photo that I took with my phone out of the window, you can even see Charles Bridge. We had about four hours stopover in Paris, so we decided to go and check out the apartment that we'll be living in in summer. It looked very cool. Outside, a photo of Nicolas Sarkozy had been unceremoniously placed in a pile of cigarettes and dog shit. We then jumped on a train and headed east to Alsace and mother-in-law. In fact, it was great to meet Nicole and all of the other wolves in the pack. And of course, I was introduced to French eating. And now I finally understand why G always put on five kilograms every time he went to France for a couple of weeks. I was introduced to the French tradition of la raclette, which is basically we stick cheese of all different sorts into a little saucepan, stick it into a fryer that sits in the middle of the table, and when it's melted, you pour it over fried potatoes and gobble it up. If your initial instinct was that that is yum, then you are correct. The only problem is that they let dogs into their restaurants. Those dirty bastards. The whole region around where G's mum lives is beautiful and we went to a lot of the villages which have beautiful streets and storks nests on chimneys and um, vineyards that just stretch as far as the eye can see. And beautiful little streets and lanes and perfumed trees and castles and uh, fortified towns and little cobblestone lanes that wrap through these little cities. It's like the setting of a fairy tale. We even managed to pop over to Switzerland for a pretzel and a smoothie and then over to Germany for some brunch and shopping. Sounds bourgeois? It is. What really struck me is that here you can literally walk one kilometre or cross a bridge and you're not only in a different country but you're in a place where a completely different language is spoken, there's different architecture, there's a different culture and that blew my mind as somebody coming from a country with no borders. Some of you may remember Natalie when she came and visited us in Melbourne about a year ago. This time we got to visit her which was great. I was shocked to find that she reads the blog almost as much as mum does. Hello Natalie, stalker. From there we were able to go to Strasbourg, which is the capital of Alsace, and it's like the culmination of all the Alsatian architecture, but in my opinion, it lacked the charm of the smaller towns. It did, however, have one fuck off amazing cathedral. And that's it, that's the vlog for this time. We're off to Berlin tomorrow, which we're very excited about. Um, I'm not sure if you are as obsessed as I am, but I love doors and windows and in the region here there are so many that are unique and beautiful. So the rest of the video is just a selection of pictures of Alsatian doors and windows set to the sound of the Strasbourg Cathedral bells chiming. See you next time.